Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. The Color Purple exceeded expectations at the box office and broke records for Christmas Day releases, and I got to check out the film opening week. I was raised on watching the reruns of the movie coming up, and I was also delighted to see a stage play musical back when I had just moved out to LA, so I was excited to see how the movie would come together. Plus, I love musicals and was a theater geek in high school, so of course I'm going to support an iconic black musical period piece centering a black gay character. I love that the new actors carry the essence of the original characters we knew from the film, but the interpretation of each character never felt like caricatures of the original versions. Being able to hold your own after Oprah's legendary portrayal of the iconic and ferocious Sophia is a tough feat. Daniel Brooks breathes new life into this role, and as Sophia still manages to be one of the most entertaining characters in the cast. Hell No is definitely one of my favorite new tracks from the soundtrack, and one of my favorite musical performances in the film. Coleman Domingo's Mister was very similar to the original film, adaption like Danny Glover, in my opinion, and I mean that in the best way possible. I found Coleman Domingo's Mister's arrogance and malice very believable, and the scenes of abuse were similarly traumatizing to the original. I thought that because this was a musical they would sanitize this film, but I was wrong. One part of the film I may take issue with is that in this new version, the, the evil and mean-hearted Mr. gets a redemption arc towards the end of the story after years of abusing Celia and her finally walking away to make a much better life for herself. Do abusers get redemption arcs in our lives for finally doing one good thing for us? I don't know, and I guess I'm still learning that lesson for myself. Coleman Domingo has been raking in the iconic roles in the past few years, and it's so badass seeing a black gay man snag up all these gigs, straight and gay characters too, proving we can do it all in entertainment. I truly thought that the love affair between Suge Avery and Seeley would be downplayed in this film, but boy was I wrong about that too. Apparently in the musical version on Broadway and in this film, Seeley's attraction to Suge Avery and their romantic relationship is highlighted much more, even with an accompanying and adorable duet, What About Love? They go out on a date, and much more focus is brought to Celie's attraction to Shug Avery, who clearly loves her back. The ladies even end up in bed together, a scene I don't recall in the original film. Fantasia does an incredible job as Celie, and again standing in Whoopi Goldberg's huge shoes for this role is difficult, but she did it and delivered heart-wrenching performances throughout the entire movie. It's important that a romance, though fleeting, is shown between Celie and Shug because this is an important theme in the original book. Also considering that author Alice Walker has spoken about her own romantic relationships with women, the love that Shug and Seeley share inspires Seeley to find the strength to leave Mr. Black women had few options in the 1920s and 30s, but blues singers like Shug Avery were known to have dalliances and romances with women, even if they eventually went on to marry men, just like Shug does in the film. I've also heard rumblings that many people were uncomfortable with Seeley and Shug's relationship, but luckily I don't have Twitter, so I don't have to see the negative comments myself. Coincidentally, I ran into a clip online of the original Seeley, Whoopi Goldberg, explaining that the film was already receiving so much backlash for its portrayal of black men that they were never going to allow a lesbian character to be the star or a hero. So they minimized Seeley and Shug's relationship in the original film to just a kiss. This is yet again another stellar moment, not just for black excellence in the arts, but specifically black gay excellence in the arts. Seeing a film bring to life the real stories of gay black women like Celia and Shug who are keeping the blues music, black families, and even black businesses alive is the kind of content I love to see.